Greetings, Nick with Sweetwater here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the sonically brutal, yet beautiful sounding tube-driven beast on my left right here, the Bogner Ubershaw Ultra Head. As its name clearly implies, this 100 watt two channel beast takes the world renowned harmonically complex high gain sonic footprint of the original Bogner Ubershaw and boosts it to the next level. Awful pun intended, sorry. It does so via additional gain stages and a bunch of other cool new features which add even more tonal flexibility. <laughs> Epiphone 1958 Carino Explorer on channel two of this beast and an ESP LTD James Hetfield Signature Snake Bite on channel one. The Epiphone was panned hard left and the Snake Bite hard right. And yes, that intro riff was definitely heavily inspired by my Swedish chugging pal, Ola England. Enough yapping, let's hear three more guitars and three more settings of this fine amp, shall we? <laughs> Yes, my friend, what you just heard was this, a Kramer Beretta on channel two of the amp panned hard left, an Epiphone Matt Heafy Origins Les Paul Custom on channel one of the amp panned hard right, and an Ibanez Nita Strauss Jiva straight down the middle on channel one for the intro riff, and then channel two with the gain boost activated for the solo. Now, as I'm sure you know, in the world of boutique high gain amp companies, Bogner is a much respected and highly revered pioneer. In fact, it's pretty much been that way ever since its founder, Reinhold Bogner, moved from Germany to LA in the late 80s and started impressing the likes of the late great Edward Van Halen with his breathtaking high gain tube amp modifications. <laughs> As already mentioned, the Ubershaw Ultra is a 100 watt tube driven two channel head. And furthermore, as proudly proclaimed on its rear panel, it's handcrafted in Los Angeles, California. In addition to no fewer than six 12X7 preamp tubes, I repeat six, the version I'm abusing here features a quartet of EL34 power tubes, giving it a distinct, dare I say it, British vibe. You know, those punch you in the chest mids with nice tight lows. And, just so you know, there are two other power tube flavors available as well. There's a 100 watt version with a quartet of 6L6s and also a high plate voltage version that boasts 150 watts of power courtesy of four KT88 power tubes. That's loud, my friend, but so is this. So is this. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the Ubershaw Ultra's features, shall we? We'll start with the front panel. Going from right to left, we have the following. The input jack, then six controls and three switches for the amp's second channel, the higher gain one of the two. Five of the six control knobs are the usual suspects, namely gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume for the channel. 
As for the other control, it's labeled metamorph and works in conjunction with the tight slash fat switch just below it and to its left. More about this control and this switch and what they do in a minute. First though, let's take a quick look at the other two switches on this channel. Just to the left of the gain control, we have a pre-EQ switch. This three-way mini toggle switch has three settings, bright, focus, and doom. Bright adds an aggressive edge, which obviously becomes less effective when the channel's gain settings are set to stun. Focus gives you a smooth, tight response, and as you'd expect, Doom delivers a slower, more girthy vibe. Let's quickly hear them with the same exact riff played three times, shall we? First though, a digital guitar change. Here's the switch on Bright. And here's the same riff, kinda sorta, with the switch set to focus, the middle position. And last, but certainly not least, here's Doom. And incidentally, the cabinet I'm using is a Bogner 4x12 loaded with good old Celestian Vintage 30 speakers. As for the last of the three switches, well, it lives between the middle and bass controls, and it's a three-way mini toggle that offers a trio of gain options, Uber, Crunch, and Ultra. Let's quickly hear all three, shall we? We'll start with the lowest gain one, namely Crunch. <laughs> Now let's go to a high gain setting, shall we? Uber, and this has nothing to do with vehicles arriving after you call them up on your phone. And finally, to the third and highest gain of the trio, namely Ultra. All three of those are great in my humble opinion. Anyway, that done, let's quickly return to the metamorph control and its pal, the tight slash fat switch, shall we? In a nutshell, this pair control the channel's overall tonal character and also fine tune its gain too. When the switch is set to tight, low settings of the metamorph control tighten the low end and really emphasize pick attack. This is obviously great for staccato riffage, just like this. Then, when I turn the control clockwise while leaving the switch on tight, the sound gets a little wider and also a little looser. Let's hear it, shall we? <laughs> Now, when I set the switch to fat, this, wait for it, yep, fattens and rounds out the notes, which was great for soloing, and that's exactly what I used on the solo at the start played on the Jiva. But let's hear it again, shall we, on this guitar. <laughs> Yeah, and as you can hopefully see, when channel 2 is selected, you can see it on even the darkest stage thanks to the resulting red glow above its controls. Dun dun dun! Moving further left on our tour of the front panel, we come to a pair of switches which sit between the amp's two channels. These are labeled channel select and boost. Both are foot switchable and both do exactly what their names suggest. Imagine that. 
Just so you know, if you only want the boost switch to work on channel one, you can make this happen via a handy dandy boost link switch on the amp's rear panel, which we'll discuss further in a minute. As you'd hope and expect, the Ubershaw Ultra comes with a four-way LED foot switch, this one right here. And just so you know, the other two foot switches work on the amp's second master volume and also its series effects loop. More about those two in a minute. Continuing on our front panel journey, next up is channel one. And just like channel two, when it's selected, we get that lovely red glow. Check it out. <laughs> Channel one consists of five controls and two switches, all of which are totally self-explanatory. The five controls are, wait for it, yup, you've guessed it, gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume. And the two switches are as follows, a three-way gain selection switch, and also one labeled bright, which does exactly that. The three gain choices for channel one are as follows, clean, crunch, and uber and all three are distinctly British in nature, in my humble opinion. Now, just because the Ubershaw Ultra is a high gain monster, don't be fooled into thinking that its clean channel is merely there for the sake of it. It's a great sounding clean, similar to those harmonically rich, shimmering British clean sounds of the 60s and 70s. Let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> Can you hear what I mean? That's a great clean in my humble opinion. And just so you know, I've got a Wampler Ego compressor and an MXR analog chorus pedal kicked in on that particular part. And by the way, if I wanna get bluesy, I just kick in the boost switch. Let's try that, shall we? <laughs> Close enough for rock and roll. Next up is Crunch. Can you say 70s classic rock? And if that's not enough gain for you, once again, you literally kick in more with a deft tap of your foot, just like this. And last, but certainly not least, the highest gain setting on channel one, namely Uber, this one right here. <laughs> That was a budgie riff in case you're interested, by the way. But anyway, lots of tonal flexibility just in that channel by itself. I like it. And finally, on our front panel tour, we come to the master section where we find another five controls. And those are as follows. Master volume one, master volume two, density, depth, and presence. As already mentioned, master volume two is foot switchable so you can go from loud to stupidly loud. And both master volume controls, namely one and two, each have an LED light so you can clearly see which one you selected, just like this. Let's take a quick look at what the other three controls in this section do, shall we? First up is density. Now, according to the amp's manual, lower settings of this control are more 3D sounding, while higher settings are faster, and more in your face. Those, in my opinion, are really good descriptions, hence the reason I just read them, and also because I'm lazy. Anyway, here's the density control with a fairly low setting. <laughs> Not sure what that was, but I think you get the picture. That's what it sounds like with a low density setting. Now let's turn it up higher, shall we? And see what happens. Yeah, 
I'd say that was more in your face, and it was fun to play too. Now, when I crank the density control to max, which is marked with a U incidentally, that's the original Ubershaw preset. And of course, said U has a double dotted umlaut above it. I think that's how you say it, umlaut? Whatever, it's got those double dots just like Motorhead did. Next up is the depth control, which adds 100 Hz resonant peak to your sound. And once again, a double dotted U marks the original Ubershaw preset. This control is great for getting big fat sounds at low club stage volumes where that pesky sound guy is always telling you, turn it down, turn it down, you're too loud. <laughs> Next up is the presence control, which boosts, yep, the high frequencies. And it has a three-way switch that allows you to add more hair and even more hair should you wish. Once again, a U with a double dot marks the original Ubershaw setting. So the switch goes U, which is original, hair, and then more hair, hair plus if you will. Great for 80s metal. It sounds good, whatever you're playing, if truth be told. Then to end our front panel tour, we have the usual tube amp switches for standby and power. Phew, that's a lot of stuff, but it's all good stuff as you've hopefully heard. Lots of flexibility there, lots of flexibility. <laughs> Now, as far as the back panel goes, it's relatively straightforward, my friend. Let's take a quick peek, shall we? First up, we have an array of five speaker outputs for the usual various impedance options. Next up, a line-out jack and a line-out level control as well. Then we have send and return jacks for the amp's effects loop, complete with a send level control and an effects loop on-off switch. And as mentioned before, this is foot switchable. Next to that, speaking of foot switches, we have two foot switch jacks. And then lastly, the aforementioned boost link switch, which allows you to set the boost to either channel one or both channels one and two, depending on how you set said switch. <laughs> And there you have it, my friend, the Bogner Ubershaw Ultra 100 Watt Head, this one with EL34 power tubes. An impressive sounding and feeling amp with lots of tonal flexibility. Thanks to all its controls, as you've heard, it can sound huge at low volumes, as well as when cranked. And by the way, when it's cranked, it sounds and feels simply amazing, in my humble opinion. In our modern world of silent stages, in-ear monitors, digital modeling, digital amp capturing and plugins, there's still nothing quite like standing in front of a great all tube stack or half stack, cranking the sucker to 11 and then hitting a power cord or five. It's primal, darn it. It's visceral. It literally moves you. In fact, in my humble opinion, it changes your molecular structure in a wonderful way, I hasten to add. And this Ubershaw Ultra Half Stack definitely does that. For more information on this fine Bogner amp or any other Bogner product for that matter, please go to sweetwater.com or better still, call your oh-so-friendly Sweetwater sales engineer. Oh yeah, and if you'd like to know more about the guitars I've abused in this video, there are links in the comments below. That said, I'm gonna do a quick digital change, open this bad boy up and rock. I'm out of here after this change. I'm gonna leave you the exact same way I came in by shamelessly ripping off my friend Ola. Here goes, have a great day. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment nicely, please, and also subscribe. 
Click here for more videos like this and go to sweetwater.com for all your pro audio and music instrument needs. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.